So this video is going to teach us how to constrain or to assemble um, some cylindrical objects inside of a part, inside of a model. So if we kind of look at what's going on, what we have, we have a chassis which is just a bottom piece. We have a rear hood, a front hood, uh, two axles, and four wheels. So we're going to teach you how to put these together in three different types of ways. Um, but before we do kind of look, we have uh, our wheel has um, two circles. Our axis is one big circle, um, and those are both cylinders. And then our back hood is, if we look at it on the side, it has a semicircle uh, and then a flat. And then on the front, it's a square. So, um, going to show us so how we actually will put this thing together. So the first step is constrain. So we're going to click constrain and we're going to actually start with an insert. And if you look at insert, you have two different options. Opposed, which if you had this surface and this surface, opposed means they would face in the same opposite direction. And then aligned would be that it would face in the same direction. So we're going to click aligned. We're going to have this circle and this axis they're going to be center line, but they're also going to be facing in the same direction. So I'm going to click those. And if you see, they're both facing in the same direction, arrows pointing out. So I'm going to say OK. So if we notice that those two things, they'll always stay together because um, that's the way we constrained it. Um, the next constraint I want to do is what's called a mated constraint of center axes. So if you drag your mouse over this, if you notice that that is highlighting its center axis. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click um, on the rounded area of that. If you notice that axis lights up, so I'm going to click that. And I'm going to say OK. So what that did is the constraint allows it to stay axis to axis uh, on there. So I'm going to rotate around. I'm going to have another constraint, and I'm actually going to um, going to do another insert and again an aligned of this axis and that circle edge with this one as well and say okay so if we look at this part do, is it fully constrained where we want it and if you look it's allowed to move in and out which is the mated constraint um, but your wheels will stay on your axis. So if I'm just going to click left and I can show you something, we have a gap. So we could flush this side and this side together, but it would leave a large gap over here. Uh, if we do our math, we can calculate that gap based off of the length of your axle, the length of your wheels, and the length of your the width of your body. So if we do a constraint, and I'm going to choose mate, mate, which means those two surfaces are facing in the same direction. I'm going to click this surface, which is the inside of the wheel, and I'm going to pick this surface, which is the outside of the uh, rear hood. And notice initially that, again, they're butted up next to each other. But if we do an offset, and know that that gap is 0 0.1 um, based off of the calculations. And if I do 0 0.05, OK, then that's going to give me a gap where if I click this thing, it's not moving. So that rear axle and rear wheels are now constrained. And they'll rotate, they'll spin. You can see what's going on. Um, but they won't move in and out, and the wheels will stay on, the axle will stay on. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is constrain uh, the front wheels on the axis. So if I do constrain and I do insert, and again, I'm going to pick a line. I'm going to pick this one and this one. Well, I need to move this so I can get away. So I'm going to do cancel. I'm going to pull this out. Again, insert, 
aligned. Pick the outside and the outside of this one. Say OK. So now, if we look, this piece, all those are staying together. Now, I want to put this inside of here. In order to do that, and again, it's a square, you can't do center axes because there's no axis inside of here. So if I do a constraint, move this thing down. Sorry, I'm going to do a constraint. I'll move this first. I'm going to do a constraint. What I'm going to do is a tangent. So a tangent takes the outside cylinder and and points it onto a surface. So if I do tangent, I'm going to do outside, not inside, but outside. I'm going to pick uh, this surface and the outside of the cylinder. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to show you that it's always going to be straight up and down. Okay, But it can go in two other directions. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to do a tangent on the top surface. So tangent constraint. And it's going to be an outside here and here. Say so, OK. So now the last thing we want to do is we're going to do a mate flush of the outside of this wheel and the outside of this wheel. And say OK. So, if you hear my child in the background um, playing toys while we're doing our assembly, we can notice that everything lines up and you have an assembly of cylinders. Thank you for watching.